You know, until recently I perceived Zoe Mice as a grandfather who is trying to catch up with a rapidly developing market of gaming devices. In fact, it's true, but the C-Series did the minimum to get me interested in their products, and in particular the ZA Shape, which for some reason is not so popular that it deserves to be cloned. As you already understood from the title, today I have a review of Zoe ZA13C. As always, let's start with the packaging and contents. Mouse instructions with combinations of buttons for settings and spare glide. Plug and play in all its glory. At this point, let's check the mouse. I'll start this time with the coating, because it's easily soiled, but at the same time it's very grippy. And I like it. I believe that the coating should perform its function. Of course, it's desirable to wipe it with alcohol after a sweaty game session, since it's the coating that easily turns from grippy into sticky. In terms of shape, I would say it's Zoe ZA, but from my arsenal I would compare it with XM1, a mouse whose hump is shifted back and this shape is mainly intended for a claw grip. The main difference from XM1 is that ZA13 narrower, but at the same time the hump is slightly higher. Personally, the 13 shape allowed me to flick with my wrist much more freely than the XM1. Personally, in terms of shape, I prefer the 13C. The cable here is cord-like power cord where the cable runs inside. Something similar can be seen in mice from Glorious. At the base of the mouse, the cable is raised to reduce friction with the mouse pad. Personally, I see no reason to change it to something else. The main buttons. There are some Juanos there, the click is normal, but everything is spoiled by the insane pre-travel, especially when you have lost the habit of it, and you are spoiled by fast actuated KL 8.0s. There is also post-travel, in fact, you will need some time to adapt. Mouse will remind you about this implementation of main buttons when in shooters you need to click from semi-automatic weapon, and believe me, this is not very pleasant. There is no clear uniformity. As for me, even 20 million ohm runs on a super light feel better. The wheel is a typical Zoe wheel, loud with clear steps and I will say that it's difficult to scroll relative to other mice. But the most unpleasant moment is the force of pressing the wheel. It takes a lot of effort to push the wheel. This is very common when I'm playing Battlefield or Call of Duty if you need to quickly throw a grenade. I can't stand when I have to push the wheel with more force than other buttons, which knocks me out of the general gameplay flow. Side buttons. Large and glossy. Pressing is really comfortable. Initially there was a clear click, but after 3 months a small portrayal appeared on the button that I used more often. Also, I couldn't avoid the problem of clicking under the side buttons when pressing the shell. Many reviewers have talked about this problem. Of course, it's not good. If you are the one who squeezes the mouse when the things heat up, then this problem can become critical for you. Stock lights. Fast but thin. I tried to replace them with core pads, but personally, I didn't like the result, and I returned the stock ones. And in general, I advise you to play on stock before tearing them off. The choice of normal glides for Zoe is not very large. Sensor 3360. There are no questions about the operation of sensor. You just have to understand for yourself that for the same money you can get a top solution from other manufacturers. And another very important change is the weight of 65 grams. To summarize, in general a really cool shape. Normal cable and reduced weight, but you should not take off your hat and praise Zoe, when globally most mouse manufacturers are now moving towards wireless technologies. Of course, the main buttons, the wheel, as well as the creaking under the side buttons fade against the monolithic XM1R. Therefore, I advise the A13C only when you know for sure that you need a clone mouse with a narrow waist, as in other aspects you may be disappointed. That's all for today, by the way, subscribe to my gaming channel where I do some average mouse and keyboard magic. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.